Hello all, uh, welcome you for the third video lecture on OpenCV. In previous uh, video lecture, I shown you how to configure the uh, OpenCV to the uh, Microsoft Visual Studio and we run a uh, small hello world sort of applications where we displayed an image. In this video lecture, we will see what this program does, how it runs and all the stuff. In previous video lecture, uh, we uh, created a uh, property sheet files where we included the paths for libraries, includes and uh, DLL files and all those stuffs. Instead of doing that, you can do one more way. Uh, it is just by copying the DLL files and uh, putting into the uh, ABC folder. Uh, but I don't prefer that as it creates uh, multiple copies of DLL files in your hard disk. So better go with the property sheets and uh, for every other projects you can just uh, link this uh, property sheet files to your project hereafter. So many people may not be knowing about what uh, lib and DLL files are doing in our uh, OpenCV. So those uh, open DLL and uh, uh, lib files are nothing but uh, co compressed form of uh, your uh, OpenCV APIs. Even though APIs are in C, C++, Java, Python, they are written under C or C++. There are nearly 2500 plus APIs and counting. So all those APIs are clubbed in different packages like core package and uh, uh, feature 2D and high GUI and many such packages. And it is given to you as a lib file and DLL. So what is the difference between lib and DLL files? The lib files can have the definitions of those APIs or it can have a link to the uh, definition of API in the DLL files. So let's go and explore our uh, program. So here is my program uh, starts with hash include IO stream since it is a C++ program it is required and next one is hash include opencv2 underscore opencv dot hpp hpp stands for a header file of a c++ program and opencv2 mentions here uh, it is a directory so let's go to this particular directory here is opencv so let me get inside it so there are many folders calib 3d contip core features 2d here is my opencv so let me just open it Here you can see that uh, many other header files are also included in this particular header file. So including this particular header file includes all other header files. So you don't have to worry about you know, which header file to be included for your project. So just include this particular header file. Next using namespace cv and using namespace std. So by writing this you don't have to copy the std all the time like std colon colon you don't have to do this for uh, c out and even for uh, open cv like mat you don't have to do cv dot colon colon so uh, it uh, dec dec it saves you little time so in line 9 uh, there is a if statement if arc c less than 2 c out less number of arguments return minus 1 argc is number of arguments that you are sending from the command line since I am sending uh, uh, two arguments one is nothing but uh, executable of abc and one more is nothing but the path to the image it checks whether there are two arguments or not if less than two arguments it prints less number of arguments in the command prompt or else it goes to the next 17 line for time being just ignore 14, 15, 16 so let's go to line number 17 where it has mat image is equal to im read arg v1 comma 1 uh, mat stands for a it's a class uh, in opencv which is used to load an image or frame in a video so let's explore what is mat uh, from the documentation so here uh, just go to the core functionality and uh, go to mat so you can see that mat is a class it has many attributes flags dims rows columns and many more and also a pointer known as data reference count and many more uh, uh, attributes are there 
along with it has its own uh, functions uh, which is not shown in this particular uh, documentation you can explore it by uh, opening the core.hpp header file you can just go through this uh, particular documentation which uh, tells you how to copy, how to create and uh, how to access uh, elements in the mat, uh, mat and all those stuffs let me get back to my visual studio so here I am creating a variable known as image which is of type mat and uh, what I am doing is I am read which is similar to a matlab uh, co function for reading an image what I am doing is I am reading uh, the argument is nothing but a first uh, argument the zeroth argument is the uh, the executable and the first argument will be the path for the image and uh, let's go to the documentation of I am read I am read is available in uh, high GUI so I am read so uh, it returns in mat type it takes a string reference or char star reference and uh, it has one more argument as a flags default it is given as one so you have to provide a path along with the flag so what this flag one refers if the flag is greater than zero it returns an three channel color image if it is 0 it returns a grayscale image and if it is less than 0 it loads image as is and uh, instead of giving this you can give a cv underscore load image any depth or cv load image color uh, you just read this documentation of what all this stuff does uh, let's get back to the visual studio so uh, image is read using im read and stored in the image variable so let us check whether that particular image is available or not uh, it can happen like if you, the path is something uh, wrong or which is unav unavailable uh, the image is not stored in the, uh, uh, the variable image so you need to check uh, whether the image has some data in it or not as I said mat has a pointer known as data uh, which tells you whether the pixel values are there or the content the image variable has content or not it's by checking not of image dot data so if it is true then it means the image is not loaded properly uh, uh, display a message and uh, return on or exit and next is a named window again it is a function in high GUI so let's go and explore the high GUI again named window so it runs nothing named window const string win name so it takes a string variable and flags window auto size so this is used for creating an uh, output window so you give any name uh, and a flag uh, if you are not given any flag it will take by default window auto size and many other uh, flags are available you just go through it let's get back to visual studio so I created a window known as image and uh, I gave certain flags over here and next is I am show which is for displaying an image so let's go, go to the documentation section where I am show is there I am show it again returns nothing and it takes a win name that is window name uh, and a input array mat mat type so uh, in the window image it displays the image the content of the image and uh, next is weight key again it is in a uh, uh, high GUI so let's see what that weight key does weight key int weight key int delay by default it takes argument as 0 or you can give any other arguments and it returns an integer type so wait key waits for an event infinitely if it is 0 it waits for infinitely if it is non zero number like if you give a 10 it waits for delay millisecond that is 10 milliseconds so it is very important if you are working with the uh, videos if you are querying uh, video frames from camera you have to wait for certain amount of time 
like if you require a uh, 30 frames per second you need to wait certain amount of time so using this wait key you can generate a delay or wait again let's go to the visual studio and this is what our program, program is so let me recompile it Control alt f7 uh, succeeded so run press f5 yes it shows the display I mean the image so let me press escape let me modify the program a little bit uh, let me comment this out so now I'm not interested in uh, taking the command line arguments let me comment this out let me uncomment these two in our deb debug section let me go to debug here uh, I mentioned a path for the image baboon.jpg I copied the same path and pasted it over here uh, with the forward slashes so let me run this whether it works or not Control alt f7 for building and for running so it runs fine if in case you give a backward slash uh, it shows you a warning let me show it and control alt f7 for debugging and uh, sorry building and for running so uh, you didn't get output so let me see the output window what it is showing this uh, it will show certain warnings even though building got success but it is showing certain warnings so better uh, don't give a backward slash only give forward slash if you are uh, loading image in the program itself so this is a uh, it about this particular program so uh, we included the property list and uh, uh, we saw the documentation for a while and as we go along we'll be exploring more and more about the documentation uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel